what's up, gentlemen? So by the end of this video, your girl's gonna be like a super sassy crackhead jonesing for another hit of you. I'm talking addicted to you because of how damn amazing you are compared to her ex-boyfriend, Brad. Wait, what did I do? So think of these tips as kind of like mind games. It's psychological warfare, oftentimes with these spicy-ass senoritas. But if you implement the tips and strategies that I employ in today's video, game over. It's literally impossible not for her to obsess and desire you because you're amazing and sexy and ready to roll, number one. Her friend zone, her ass, gentlemen. Here's the deal. Friend zone is everybody's worst fear, right? Not only us dudes, it's also hers. And so, a great thing that you can do that's going to automatically make her desire you like a spicy crackhead. You're such a great listener. <laughs> what? Nobody wants to be a great listener when they want to get on your junk, gentlemen. That's just an undisputable fact. Another fact is that you should never call her cute, except if you want her to crave you like a drug. Let her know she has competition, even if she doesn't. All right, so this one is a little bit, little bit sneaky, but it works incredibly well, right? Just simply telling the person you're interested in that somebody else was flirting with you is incredibly powerful because the person you like who likes you is gonna get all defensive and weird and be like, wait a second, wait a second, wait a second, do you do you like her? It can be something so casual, right? Like, man, there's this girl at work that just will not stop talking to me. It's just a little uncomfortable, right? That simple, done. But you? You should never show her that you're actually jealous, even if you are, which is the next tip, right? You gotta be cooler than her ex-boyfriend. Wait, me again? Like, I wasn't, I wasn't that bad, right? Chances are, her ex-boyfriend was not super fun. He wasn't real outgoing. He wasn't as good at kissing and making out and getting frisky and freaky like you. When somebody likes you, right, they're gonna try to test you, right? But you can't let them see you sweat, gentlemen. Even though she's like, oh, there's this guy, or oh, some dude looks at her, right? If you wanna be absolutely obsessed over you gotta act like you've been there before like no big deal mama Cita, you're awesome but I'm not gonna kiss your ass which brings me to something else I was just talking about and that is you making out amazingly if you want to guarantee that she absolutely is thinking about you fantasizing about you like all the time make sure that you are an incredible kisser right don't just go in there and like jam your tongue all the way down like her throat don't get all wet and sloppy it's a dance you're in you're out a little nibble pull back a little bit make her want it more and since we're talking about kissing Listen, we gotta talk about that next thing that's gonna absolutely make her go crazy, and that is you be incredible in the sack. How are you gonna do that? Well, take your time first off. Remember that seduction and getting somebody excited starts before you just like get naked in the bedroom. You gotta lead into it, gentlemen. Work it up a little bit, tease, play, and then next step, foreplay, gentlemen. You gotta go downtown to visit Brenda. Gentlemen, don't forget Brenda. She's interested in you going down and saying hello, just like you're interested in her going down to see Al. And the next thing you gotta do is not be so quick with your tip. So one of the things that's going to make her not like super obsessed with you is if you can't actually do what you need to do where it counts, and that is the bedroom. Um, if you wanna last longer, guys, there are a few things that don't work from personal experience, I know, and that is thinking about your grandma naked, dead puppies, or kittens. But what does work? Roman Swipes. Today's video sponsor, guys, Roman Swipes. I've talked about them before. I've tried them, maybe, maybe, <laughs> whatever. This, I, there is no shame in my game. All I'm saying is they work. If you're somebody that wants to last longer, you gotta try this product. I'm gonna link to them down below. You don't need a prescription or anything. All you gotta do is actually hit that link down below. GetRoman.com slash alpha. Go through there, you're gonna get $10 off your order of Roman Swipes plus free two-day shipping, all right? So what do you get? You get these little, tiny, super sexy, action-packed wipes, right? The way that it works, you go to the bathroom right before, you're like, yo mama, one second, right? You take it out, wipe it on, big Al, bingo bango, you are good to go, and go, and go, and go. And the cool thing, they don't transfer to your partner, so you're not all like, like, desensitized and she's like, yo, what happened? That's the thing, and one of the issues with some of the other products on the market. Roman Swipes, gentlemen, absolute game changer, and I wish I had those damn things when I was younger because let me tell you I'm not saying I'm just saying I wish I had them when I was younger guys hit the link down below even if you don't technically like need it they're really fun to try and I would highly recommend every single one of you check these out I'm gonna link to them down below that's get Roman
Roman.com slash alpha. You're going to get $10 off your order, but you're also going to get free two-day shipping. Now, something else that Roman has, of course, is help for you guys out there that are suffering from ED. If you can't get it up, it's not as good as it used to be, or you have a difficult time getting it, gentlemen, you can get it again with Roman. Hit the link down below. Get Roman.com slash alpha. Remember, $10 off your Roman swipes plus free two-day shipping. Next up, gentlemen, we got to talk about you being spontaneous and not being boring and basic, all right? So one of the things that absolutely kills a relationship and makes her start to think what else is out there is when you get lazy, right? As dudes, as women, we get lazy sometimes. It happens, right? You got to make it a point to keep it fresh, to keep it exciting, to do different things, go different places, and do different things when you're getting frisky and freaky. But don't be like, yo, I want you to do this if she's not comfortable. You got to make sure that everybody is on the same page. But being open to interpret and explore different things is absolutely a game changer in terms of her being obsessed with you. The next tip to make her crazy about you is don't respond so damn fast on those text messages, right? Oftentimes what happens, we get excited, right? We like somebody. We get a text message and bang, like two seconds later, you're like, yeah, I like you too. You're awesome. Do you want to do you want to get together on Saturday? No, no, no. Still, slow down, right? You got to wait a little bit, maybe 45 minutes, 30 minutes even, because most people know that everybody responds like super quick. But what happens if you just delay it a little bit, it causes her a little teeny weeny bit of doubt, which is in turn going to make her think about you more. The next way to make her literally addicted to you is be successful at anything, right? You don't need to be driving a Lambo, but be successful, be motivated, be career or goal oriented, right? This is super powerful and incredibly attractive because chances are Brad was a loser. Wait, why are you, why are you picking on me? The next tip guys is be interesting, right? Interesting dudes are incredibly attractive and valuable, not to mention addictable, right? But addictable is that? Addictable? Let's go with it. Anyway, being interesting, both being intelligent, looking and reading and learning a bunch of different things, but also in what you do, your actions, where you go, being spontaneous. Remember, gentlemen, it's about being exciting. And if you are viewed as an exciting dude, you're going to be more valuable. And these women are going to be like, yo, if I'm with him, I'm going to get to do these other things that he's doing. And so a quick takeaway and tip is post fun shit you're doing on Instagram and Facebook. And last but definitely first, you be you. Don't try and be something that you're not. She is going to be the luckiest girl in the world because you are the greatest dude I've ever met. Stop overthinking it. Stop getting in your head. It's not that complicated. If you are you and just let her see how incredible you are, gentlemen, game over, next level, sexy, spicy, crackhead addiction level.